Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be opening March's P. Louise box. So P. Louise's beauty box always comes the month after they call it. So March's comes in April, April's comes in May, which is why this one is so late. It is also even later, now being May, because I get it shipped from the UK and because I got sick. I have what is called relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis and I relapsed and I slept straight through two weeks of my life and nothing happened. So <laughs> I am trying to catch up now and so we're going to get into this box which is where I left off after I last filmed. So I pay I think about $50 for this box because I get it from the UK but people in the UK I believe pay about 38 to 40 the international shipping really kills you on this, but it is supposed to be full-size beauty products from the brand. And so we will go ahead and give it a go. And don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff because it really helps my channel. So the first thing in here looks a little bit familiar. Remember last time we got like a juice box? This looks like a juice container. But it still has the cute little straw. And this says it is Juicy Drip in the flavor Marry Me Martini. Inside we have two products. We have a lip exfoliator and a lip sleeping mask. Oh, I love sleeping masks. I need to use lip exfoliators more often. I always notice when my lips are looking rough that I should have been doing that, but then I still don't. Perhaps if this smells amazing, it will remind me. So here's the packaging. There's a foil seal. Oh my goodness. It looks like, I don't know, caviar, except tiny. It does smell good, very citrusy. You can see where they had the little oil. Ah! Oh, it just feels like straight sugar. Just like actual full sugar granule. I'm sure it'll scrub your lips. Oh, and it does smell really, really good. Next we have the Don't Sleep On Me sleep mask. Oh my gosh! It's so cute! Look at that! Oh, It's a heart. It has clouds and a moon. It has another tin foil. Okay, same scent, but much lighter. Ooh. And this is the texture I like in sleeping masks. It's not too sticky, but it's gonna stay there. The one we got in Fat Fit Fun that was some sort of birthday one, it feels almost chunky. I don't know. I'm not sure about it. I think it works okay, but I prefer them to feel like this. So that's adorable. So our next item we have here is birthday bubbles, body wash. Okay, that's an interesting item. They should have put it in the last one though that was birthday themed. It does smell a lot like cake batter. So <laughs> that's cute. I still think theming wise, they should put it in the birthday box, but it's still fun to get. Our next is take a brow for the brow balm. As you know, I am not excited about this. I just, I don't need that much stuff in my eyebrows. Oh, it is cute though. It has like a little cutesy pink spoolie and I'm sure this is just like wax I can't get in it oh I was trying to twist the lift up top so yeah there's a lot of it could do your brows forever it smells slightly sweet or is that just my hand I don't think it smells like anything I think it smells like my hand <laughs> so there is that that I will not use but again, I can see why people put a bunch of brow products in things, especially when it can be clear because you can use it for anybody. Okay, 
Next we have Glow with the Flow. What is this? Cream Blush Palette. Very interesting. I tried the cream bronzer today. I don't think I love cream bronzer, but I did try it. We'll see. We'll see how it looks in this video too, if it's like weird. Also, I used a blush, I used all the time, but for some reason today it was just like, it looked like I was from the 80s. Oh, how cute. Here's all the shades and little hearts. Okay, and those are all the shades we're looking at. So a really good variety, I have to say. All the way from these peachy ones, pinks into reds. So that's kind of fun. I don't necessarily enjoy these heart shapes. You can see I kind of like made a mess of them trying to get the lush out. And then it's just like cardboard. I don't know. I feel like I'll make a mess out of this. But I do like these colors. All right, and then last in our box, bubble wrapped and theming I love, fall in love with P. Louise. Again, maybe February, I don't know. <laughs> but I love little envelopes and stuff in theming, so I am glad to have it. Oh, how cute. So we have these like three different little palettes in the big palette. It looks like we have the start of something new. Got me feeling deeply and never looking back. That is so cute. So these ones have butterflies, locked hearts, and hearts with arrows. And... We've got a variety of different sort of colors. Obviously a lot of pinks. So here are those three different sections. We have this first one with the mattes and then the sort of corally color, the very, very pink, and then the more goldy one over here. This one though, it looked gold and it shows up almost red. It is very interesting, especially in person. It's almost like a duochrome in between gold and red. I'm trying to pick up the shift <laughs> in the color. Um, but that's super fun. I always love this box. I'm so excited to open it. Let me know what you guys think below. If this is stuff you like, if you'd have been disappointed or excited, whatever, just leave it in the comments below and I will get back to you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!